Welcome everybody. We are still here at FarleyCon enjoying this great day and we are being joined by a guest very close to my heart. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm a little, hey, little nervous, a little nervous. <laughs> no, um, you've played some roles that are very, very critical and like important to my life. Uh, kid, uh, teen, sorry, Kid Gohan, when I was young watching him and everything like that, it's just, I felt yeah. like I could feel it. Like it, I could feel the emotion and everything and the way you were conveying it all, I was just like, like when you're in that zone, you're in it. I'm just like in it. I was like, yes, I understand like so much more. And I, I just want to say thank you. Like really helping like yeah. kids understand like feelings and stuff like that. Yeah. But uh, to, yeah. You know, light over dark. Like you know, you gotta have the dark to get the light. You gotta have the contrast, the balance in your life. The good, the bad, cause and effect. It can be a spiritual thing. <laughs> so, I mean, I mean, go on. Went through a lot as a child. I mean, yeah. Yeah. I, I, yeah. a lot of death and. A lot of bullying. Bully, <laughs> yeah. It's like, hey, don't hurt my friends. Don't do it. And then he finally unleashes the power that I think I don't think he knew he had. Yeah. So, yeah, it was an honor to play that role and through the Cell Saga yes. as well. And Goku from Dragon Ball. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so how was it also doing, like, young Goku? It's super fun. I really voice. I've, I've voiced uh, female characters, but mostly primarily, you know, Kid Goku and Kid Gohan well known for those so um, I got to live vicariously through the character and be a little boy that I could never be in real life and channel all my you know brothers and stepbrothers and all, you know all the kids I hung out with and just kind of became Kid Goku and I actually was cast as Gohan first mm -hmm. so I had like the more of the raspy don't hurt my daddy and then so when they offered me the role or the audition for Goku we just pitched it up higher and they liked what I had to do with that so honored to be a part of such an amazing uh, popular fr uh, franchise and we're definitely glad you're on it. Um, so how did you get into just the whole voice acting situation? The voice acting profession? Yep. Yeah, um, basically, I've, I've been you know, doing voices as a, as a child. I got into singing more quicker, like first. Mm -hmm. And then the singing or the voice acting came later. I was kind of doing it for fun. And then I got involved in theater. Mm -hmm. So I learned, um, you know, I went to to classes I you know I had coaches um, did a lot of musical theater which is singing dancing and acting all at the same time which is like a dream I loved it I fell in love with musicals and um, I just basically just was you know honed my talent all of those years and when it when it came time to go to college I majored in dramatic arts so that I could learn a lot more about the you know serious side of acting you know vocals movement um, breathing techniques and move you know different kind of exercises but then I joined a show band that did singing dancing and acting and I, I took off on the road, left college and did that and I've been doing that pretty much ever since. So in my travels and working with other bands, I sat in with other groups and did a lot of um, studio work um, in the studio Did my and did, we did our own album with uh, Brave Combo out of Denton, they're a, a Grammy Award winning polka band. That's how I got the audition for Dragon Ball Z, which I didn't know anything about at the time, but I showed up for the audition because the um, somebody heard my voice and thought it sounded very animated. It saw, I really liked my singing voice, acted, asked if I ever done any voice acting. And I said, oh, yeah, I do voice acting for fun. I've been involved in this and that. And um, it just, it just, you know, I met the right people and thankfully was able to come to the audition. I was in, in town and um, that's when it, my anime voice acting profession began. I had done some stuff for Chuck E. Cheese and some... Uh, some acting voice acting for uh, Jemmy toys which um, it can be anything you know bunnies and you know singing Easter songs and you know Christmas songs and hamsters and I could, it was actually just rapid fire character acting and voice acting and so I got a lot of experience doing that before I got the audition so thankfully they, thankfully they liked my voice so yeah. <laughs> yeah that's what started the whole thing that's awesome what a very like specific journey like uh, we've done well, we this before yeah story as to how you know i mean it's not like i'm you know four years old and i'm going to be a voice actor like it, it yeah. didn't really start that way for me it was more music oh. and singing but everything i do is involves the voice so. that's awesome so since you are trained to you know the range of your voice and everything how is it when it comes to the screaming in dragon ball z uh, i got a lot of i got a lot of experience screaming and crying as a kid i was a very vocal <laughs> child um it it wasn't great at the time getting in lots of trouble for it but uh if i was forging a path without realizing it towards you know a vocal career and as a result um you know i, I knew my voice very well inside and out and so i had been doing singing and musicals my whole life so i'd already been learning about my voice i was recording it and listening back i took piano i would sing i was 
writing poetry and, and journaling. I was just very, very creative. And that became my escape from, you know, the harshness of being a new kid all the time and moving around. And um, it just, it was just second nature for me. And, you know, I just, uh, I just followed my heart, my dreams and my passions. And um, I had my mom on my side. Uh, I lost her right as I, after I got Cassis Go On. So I just kind of draw the strength from how she raised me and how she was always there for me. So. She's kind of my Goku and the Cell Saga with the Father-Son Command. It's like my mom kind of going, you got to keep going. You want you to be happy and forge a path and be a good um, example to um, anime babies all over the world. So I consider myself an anime mom now. Well, we definitely are very appreciative of you being our anime mom. It's <laughs> well, thank you so much for this. I don't want to take up more of your time, but thank you for this. And hopefully everybody learned a little bit, something new there. And from me. Stephanie if you have any other questions. I am a Tennessee girl. I'm originally from Memphis, so this is my first appearance in Tennessee in uh, almost a year, so it's good to be back. Love my Tennessee people. That's awesome. All right. Well, thank you guys so much, and we will definitely put your socials on there for people to follow you because yeah. we want them to show you the love you and everything awesome. like that. And I can follow them right back. Thank you so much. Thank you, guys.